one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, downtown. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Good. While no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament, some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Oh, he lands that teeth. All right, so first round is underway. We highlighted the big reach advantage off the top. It's one thing to have an edge and reach. It's another thing to be able to effectively use it. Let's see if he can employ that jab and keep his opponent on the outside. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume to it. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like a tired heavyweight in the middle of the octagon. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, nice. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, nice. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Inside leg kick is there by Chor. Well, block that punch. Unable to connect there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nice straight there by Short. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Strong work with the inside leg kick. Two minutes now to go in round one. Keep right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, look at that right hand there. Nice combination. 
position there. Beautiful kick lands. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, nice body shot. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose just gets beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Strong outside leg kick. Gets to the single collar side. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Push kick there to the body. Beautiful meeting the body by him there again. We talked off the top about his size advantage. And he put it to good use there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round. Lot to be happy. Oh, oh gotta keep pressing here. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really, start to finish. I did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Strike lands clean. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Hands high. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Great right hand on the counter is good. Lands the double jab. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Out of range with that kick attempt. Right on the button. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in. Right Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, nice high kick. Oh! Straight to the body by short. Takedown defense holds up. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Choi's left calf now starting to show signs of bruising, so the calf kicks have started to have an effect. Now he lands a solid punch. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Rips the body there. Establishing the jab. Back 
Back to the jab now, no good. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Choi's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice defense there, huge block. Under two minutes now to go. Big punch land. Jab to the head by Choi. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes on this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh! Huge left. Final seconds here. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it, and every time he lands, that blood will start to pour Ready down fight. into the eye, Ready. making it real hard to fight. Good. Third round underway. Good job. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous round? that both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level martial arts. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he landed. Great job. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Oh, oh right hand land. There you go. Strike to the thigh, some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. And he blocked the punch there. 
All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, there's nothing... Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Choi's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Well, his leg is clearly compromised here early, starting to limp a little bit, and perhaps this affects his strategy as the fight continues. Yeah, you know, these guys are so tough that when you are able to visually see someone react to the damage, react to the pain, it tells you how hard or how much effect the strikes have taken on them. Right now, we are seeing him limping because he's been kicked so much. Oh, really? Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Strong work with the inside leg kick. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, a, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Final 30 seconds of this third round. All right, so he continues to attack that upper leg area, and the thigh is really starting to show some visible bruising now. It's showing visible bruising, and you can see his movements are a bit labored. Look for him to try to switch his stances to try to hide that leg, because he has to do something. What a great way of fixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He fixed it up. He went high with his leg up and going low, and now he's got hurt very bad. What a fight so far! Start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! Well, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Look at his calf, bro. It looks like somebody poured a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon on his calf and left it there all night. <laughs> it's all red and it's swelling. He's gonna have some difficulties. Look, it hurts right now, 
but I would not want to be this guy to watch. Oh, he's in trouble. And back to his feet. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Choi is able to land the strike right there and continuing to make things difficult for the opposition. The nose is already damaged, and that strike ain't gonna help now. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Three minutes to go. Oh, that calf is just taking an absolute beating. And for someone like myself who isn't necessarily physically tough, I can barely look at that calf. Well, right John, when you watch this, and you watch how ill-prepared he is to defend this attack, as a corner, do you start to think about maybe throwing in the towel? Because this fight is over. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's more than I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Choi. Big shot to the head. Choi's really limping now. Clearly the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Under two minutes to go. Pretty good jab there by Choi. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Man, he is so sound defense. Oh. oh, nice body shot. Oh! Great job fighting behind the limb. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Pretty strong jab there by Chor. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurt because that's the soft. Right. part of your leg, so you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you throw at. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice hook, Lance. Well, you didn't see a lot of oh, what a connection. Double done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, Able to block that one. Oh, and he caught the kick. And now some separation. Uh, 20 minutes uh, down, uh, five uh, to go. Uh, uh. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Let's get this fight to the all right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Fifth and final round, fourth cut. That gets stopped by leg kicks. I'm gonna verbally tap that. <laughs> Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, oh gotta keep pressing here. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, and he connects there. 
Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Really good to walk out there. Nice straight. He's exhausted. Beautiful punch lands. Oh, overhand lands. That'll leave a mark. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised, and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big left hook there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. There's no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Just missed with that right hand. He's breathing pretty heavy. Two minutes now to go in this one. I want you to make that cut worse now. Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor it. And, John, many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. Oh, another crushing leg kick. Man, that one left him. He is throwing his hip into every one of these kicks, and it is taking an effect on his opponent. Oh, big knee to the body. So another jab for him. Oh, oh he's got him hurt badly now. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Choi's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, safe to say he's not going to be going back to the hotel room to watch this one. He is completely out of gas now. I mean, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. It looks like he's starting to lose that desire to get his hand raised in this fight. Take the controller out yeah. of his hand. Get rid of him. Who's next? <laughs> who, who put their quarter on the table? Whose quarter do you get to play next? Oh. Oh, back and forth action right till the final horn. What a tremendous finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes.
We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-46, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win for the Korean Super Boy here tonight. And